Hey everybody, this is Organic Dairyman and welcome to my channel today. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the first part of this uh, video series that I'm doing. Um, obviously this is going to be the last um, series. Um, well, I should say not only hope you enjoyed it, but I hope you learned something. Uh, this is kind of meant to be an educational video just to teach people that don't know anything about this or that want to learn about it. Um, so, yeah. So, um... Yeah, so I just thought I would uh, um, tell you guys that and let you know. So, um, yeah. So anyways, um, um, after this, then I'll go back to my regular scheduled programming. I might do some other videos here later on. Um, this winter, too, I should do a video on how to treat cows, um, <clears throat> how to treat mastitis um, on an organic farm. And um, yeah, I'll find some other things, you know, do some videos about them. I might do some other talking videos. Just um, just some educational videos because well, there's been some days where things are kind of slow around the farm and stuff like that. So, so anyways, um, here's the rest of part two and uh, enjoy it. And I hope you learned something. Your hand will go up and go down. The rumen is doing its thing. Then they have a big compartment down here and the abel maze I'm, I'm assuming is that what that stomach compartment is called okay so what do you do when a cow gets an LDA how do you treat it because it's you know because cow goes off feed and since the cow goes off of feed the stomach has a tendency to gas up because there's it's not full of food that one abel maze in there it's not full of food so the the food is like breaking down inside there the little bit out in there and it turns into a gas because it's not full anymore, you know, normally the food displaces the gas. I think that's the way I understand. I could be wrong in that, but... Um, so, anyways, the stomach will balloon up. And it depends on which way it balloons up. If it balloons up this way, it's called an LDA. If it balloons up that way, it's an RDA. The difference is, one side, you have to do... If it's an RDA, if it's on that side of the cow, you have to do a surgery because of the because there's stuff in the way inside that won't let you be able to do it what you do you know the thing that you do on the left side and if it's on the left side you do what they call a roll and tack you can roll the cow what you do is you basically slightly you kind of sedate the cow and this is approved for organic you could do it you give them rompton we give them well rompton um, and if you're organic and you give them that rompton um, you do have to have I think it's a three or four day milk withhold that's what they call for um, and they because if you don't sedate the cow they'll kick your head off because what you got to do is you the vet comes he lifts up gives them a shot in the tail hit in the vein and just sedates them enough so that they get kind of groggy so what you do is you take you know this is doing a roll and tack you take and put a, a rope around them and it's kind of hard you put them around kind of down there and then you come up and you go over here and basically, you let them out of the stall, you get them out here in the alleyway, and you get them so that their head like faces this way, and you have to roll them, and you pull that rope, and you get them, and it kind of causes them to go down on the, on the, it will cause them to go down, they'll kind of like sit down, lay down in the alleyway here, that's how we do it. And anyways, so it takes like three people to do it, sometimes you got to get some straw bales, and you basically, you, you got to, keep rolling the cow to the right side. You roll them up, poop. You get them up so that they're basically right on their back. And the vet comes over there here with a stethoscope and he'll sit there and um, he'll sit there and take and ping, bing, 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 listen um, for the DA, you know, because the, the, the stomach or the gas will come up to the bottom. It'll, the gas, their stomach will come up <laughs> to the bottom you know since they're upside down you know I know it's hard to imagine the cow upside down but um, so anyways what he does is he takes something called a, a troll I think it's pronounced a troll call I'm pronouncing it wrong um, yeah it's troll call troll cow thingy majiggy anyways what he does when he thumps the cow and he finds out where the, the bloated the gas the stomach compartment is the ablamasum he takes that troll, troll call thing and he takes and punches two holes, poof. And then what he does, he's got these little things 
um, they with um, string attached. I, I, I said not string. It's it's like um, the stuff that they use for stitches. You know, like a stitching string, if you want to call it. And at, at the end of it, it's got a little thing that when you put it inside the cow, it will inflate. When it, it comes in contact with the moisture, it'll puff up. And so he drops it down in there, and then he pokes another hole just off to the side, drops another one in there, and then basically takes and ties it up. So basically what you're doing when you do that on a rolling tack is you, you're taking and making it so that that's, that compartment adheres to the bottom of the cow. It, can, it, it actually heals there. Um, you take the, the stitches, I think, well, the, yeah, you take them out or cut them loose after so many days or so many weeks or however long it is, and then that stomach will grow there, and they'll basically they'll never get a, a DA again because of that. It actually grows at the bottom. Now, a right DA, oh, yeah, but I'll, I'll touch on this when I get done here, too. Um, when you have a right DA, obviously, you're going to have to do surgery. Um, they're going to take, and basically what they're going to do is they're going to cut this whole area open, and they're going to take in, and this is a proof for organic use, too. Since we've been organic, we've never had to do, we've never done a right DA um, surgery before. Um, there's been a couple times we had cows with RDAs. We just took and sold the cows um, and got rid of them just because we didn't want to deal with it. And, um, and you can do this if you're organic. Um, it still works. Um, I'll explain here in a little bit. But uh, first, yeah, the, he'll cut the, this open. He'll take and numb the area with some anesthesia so the cow basically won't feel anything. And you cut through all the layers of muscle and things in here. And he'll reach around and he'll put a sleeve on. And the important thing if you're doing this organically is you're probably going to want to take this whole area and rub it down with, you know, you're going to want to shave it. And you're going to run it. You want to keep it as clean as possible and you, because if you're not going to use antibiotics, and I'll, I'll touch on this in a bit, but you're going to want to rub this whole area down with alcohol and get it as sanitized as you possibly can because, and you, you know, and you're probably going to want to lay a cloth, a, a sanita sanitary cloth over the cow except for the area that you're working with. Um, and believe it or not, the barn is, you know, you think it wouldn't be a sterile environment, but, it, it, you know, you can do it in a barn like this. And so, yeah, that's what they're going to do. You're going to cut that open, and and um, you're going to you're going to uh, do that. Um, the cow's got to go bathroom here, and so yeah, he's going to reach in there with a, a sleeve on, and he's going to untwist the stomach, and then when he gets done, he's going to sew it back up again. You got to sew it up in layers. Yeah. Okay. So now getting to the thing, what do we do? How do we treat the cow since we've we've introduced the possibility of infection to the cow either through a surgery or through a, a roll and tack procedure? And I'm probably getting ahead of myself here too. Um, I'll show you when I get done to how you can check you yourself on your dairy farm, how you can check a cow for a DA if you think your cow has one. Um, obviously the best thing is to avoid a cow ever getting a DA and we haven't had a cow with a DA for probably three years now. So we've been very fortunate, not because we were lucky, because we were doing things right. Okay, so now what do you use for treating infection? Obviously you took the first steps of making sure everything was sanitized and everything. Um, because antibiotics, any of these cows in here, in this barn, cannot live without a functioning immune system, right? None of them. Even, even we would die. If we did not have a functioning immune system, we would die. So, um, yeah, so antibiotics, what do antibiotics do? Antibiotics only aid the immune system in helping to fight off infections. The antibiotics alone do not fight off infections. They, it's, like, it's like a life preserver. It's like throwing someone a life preserver. They help that person stay afloat. So maybe they're tired of swimming. You know, a person can swim, but they're tired. They need an extra assistance. That's when antibiotics do. Antibiotics alone will not, you know, if a cow didn't have a functioning immune system, antibiotics would do no good. You know, so what, do, what is the whole purpose? Of, what we give the cow as primary is we give them this. Um, this is one of the things that we give them. Obviously, we give them stuff from like aspirin, 
or aloe vera to help like with inflammation and pain and things like that. But this is like these are like the the powder powder tablets. These, yeah, the boluses, yeah. These are to help with um, like if a cow has pneumonia. Um, a nutritious of dairy beef cows that provides yeast, vitamins, and other natural flavors. So, um, these this is not a an natural antibiotic, if that's what you want to know. It's not a natural antibiotic, but the stuff that's in here has medicinal purposes to it. And what it does is it just helps basically to make, you know, and with other things too, you can give them these, some of these other things here too that, that help. But the, the whole basis and the whole thinking behind all this is to make it so that the cow immune system does not get suppressed so they can fight off an infection. That's the whole idea behind giving this thing so the cow feels good, they stay healthy, and they do not get, their immune system does not get pulled down. Um, you know, animals and humans, and they're not saying that if your kid has pneumonia, by all means, don't, don't try something like this. I mean, these are animals. Um, that's the argument some people have. Oh, well, if your child had pneumonia, would you treat your child that way, or would you give your child a shot of antibiotic? Well, of course you'd give your child the antibiotic, um, because that's your child. You know, these cows, you know, these are animals. They're not humans. So, um, you know, you can give a cow antibiotics if you're if you're organic, but you could never milk that cow in the tank ever again. Um, you just have to sell your cow to a conventional neighbor and get some money for it. But, um, like I say, if you don't, if you don't want to use antibiotics, um, my, you know, I know it's kind of a touchy subject for some people, but the, the whole idea is an animal's immune system can fight off an infection. If it's a severe infection, probably not. But if it's just like a mild infection, their immune system can fight it off. And the whole idea is to make sure that the animal feels good and their immune system, they eat and they, you know, they don't go out feed and their immune system doesn't get suppressed or weakened so they can fight it off. Um, obviously doing like a, a DA surgery, it probably, um, if you're doing a, like an RDA surgery, it's probably going to, um, you know, I know that we've talked to that one veterinarian from Crystal Creek and he has said he has done an organic farm before and they have been successful. As long as you do it as sanitary as possible, um, you can have, you know, you can do it, but, you know, like I say, if, if you're really worried about it, give them antibiotics. Don't, don't second guess it, you know, if you really feel worried about it, because an alive cow is worth more money than a dead cow. You know, at least if the cow is alive, even if you can't milk it ever and the tank is organic again, you can always sell it to your neighbor and get some money, you know. A dead cow isn't worth anything. Use your best judgment, that's, you know, but the whole objective, objective of this video is to tell you not, you don't want to get a DA in the first place, you know, if you have a DA, you've done something wrong, so. Anyways, um, as far as like checking for a DA, um, the best thing to do is if you've got like a stethoscope, um, like any doctor has, we've got a stethoscope and you just take and you take the stethoscope and you can place it different spots here, there, there. But you know, if you if you got the stethoscope here, take your finger and go ping, 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 all the way you know, all the way around. Move the stethoscope over here and ping 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 bang over here. You know, you just ping around, you go on both sides, and you can't miss the ping. You just can't miss it. It's it's impossible to miss that ping. It sounds like a, you know, like a, a, a properly inflated basketball, you know, and you go bing, 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 or like pinging the end of a tin can. Bing, bing, that's what it sounds like. You, you can't miss it. When you hear it, you know what it is. Um, I've diagnosed cows with DAs before too. I know what that sounds like. I know, bing, bing, bing. So, um, like I say, if you guys have any more questions about anything, best thing is go to Crystal Creek, check them out. Get in touch with either their on-staff veterinarian or one of their nutritionists. On-staff nutritionists, they're a professional. They're better at explaining it than I probably am. So, um, yeah. So the main objective is not to get a DA in the first place. 
and it all stems from ketosis. So if you don't get your cow's ketosis, if they don't get ketosis, then you don't have a chance of getting a DA. It all stems from nutrition. You know, what, what happens in, that, in, in their transition period or their dry cow period, that's what causes them in the end to get a DA. The damage was already done, you know, that three, four months ago when you dried that cow off. The damage, you set the stage for that DA to happen, you know, two or three months ago. You set it up by what you, you know, did do or didn't do. That's why, you know, it's so important to work with a good nutritionist. And I really recommend working with, I mean, I'm just saying this because we've had good luck with them, but working with one of Crystal Creek's nutritionists, I think they have the best, one of the best nutrition programs that, that I know of. So, you know, I'm just saying it because we've had really good luck with them. And uh, so anyways, I gotta get going to work on my taxes. This video got a little longer and long-winded than I thought, but I hope you guys learned something. If you didn't, you know, or maybe I'm just preaching to them preaching to the choir here, I don't know. But um, I'm just passing on knowledge that I've learned from working with these guys. Um, and you know, you can take it for what it's worth, I guess. Um, use your best judgment, your own discretion. Um, you know, like I said, you know, with, with regards to antibiotics, you can use them, but you can't ever put that, if you're organic, you can't ever use them. Or you, you, you can use it, but you can't ever put that milk in with your other the other organic milk, you know, you have to sit there and dump the milk until you can sell that cow to somebody else or whatever you're going to do with that cow. Um, it's the way it works, so. Anyways, I got to get going here, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop down in the comment section below. Um, check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. Check out all my other videos, and please, if you have not, Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell at the top, so that way you get an instant notification. And um, I apologize for this video getting long. It's so much information to, to, to do in a short amount of time. But um, this is information that I, we, my brother and I, we've gained over the last six years. You know, since we really started working intently with Crystal Creek, and so um, yeah. So anyways, um, like I say, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something from the video. Can't say enjoy it. And um, yeah, and a big thank you to everybody that subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, yeah, so I'll see what happens if I get a video done up here on, or on Saturday. If you don't see a video on Monday, then I probably didn't do one on Saturday. So, um, or you didn't see one on Sunday, I should say. If you don't see a video on Sunday, then I probably didn't do one on Saturday. And if you don't see one on Monday, I didn't do one on Sunday. Maybe I'll do another live stream again. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I'll catch you later.